Uh, we should take a minute here and talk about the greatness that was Ivan Koloff. Uh, he recently just passed away. Any fun memories of working with Ivan you can share, Tony? Ivan was one of the great guys of all time. Ivan was kind of like uh, Baron Von Raschke, where the persona that you saw and the voice that you heard were completely different than the real person. Uh, and absolutely one of the nicest men uh, in the world. Uh, one of those guys that, and he, another one was Lee Marshall, that when they passed away, I felt very badly that I didn't get a chance to talk to them later in their lives. And that was, uh, that was my fault. Uh, but, uh, I can remember I was doing, I did a lot of ring announcing, which I really loved. Uh, and I'm thinking that we were in, was on that West coast tour that I'll never forget. I think maybe we were in the forum in LA and Ivan and Nikita were wrestling in a tag team match. And I usually, I never had a cue card. Uh, I usually remembered the guy's weights, uh, and usually could, just bull, bullshit my way through. And I said, and in this corner, uh, at a combined weight, and I all of a sudden I had like a brain fart, and I said, combined weight of 950 pounds, <laughs> Ivan and Nikita Kola. Well, Ivan came up to me and cut this, this Russian promo in my face, and I went down, to, I went down and sat down uh, at ringside, uh, with the guy who was uh, ringing the bell. And every time Ivan would come over to me, he would say, we don't weigh 900 pounds. He kept that story in line with me and him going throughout the entire match. Uh, but he was a great guy. He really was missing. Uh, and, you know, he was uh, one of the great uh, heels of all time. Oh, for sure. I mean, uh, not only for us, but a former WWF uh, heavyweight champion. Have you ever seen the... Uh, uh, the match, any of the footage of he and uh, well, I guess he dropped the strap to Pedro Morales, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. You ever seen footage of that? No. Uh, it's, it's great. I'll tell you why it's great. Because Pedro, you know, was, was big in New York City at that time. And when, when Pedro won the strap, all the policemen, and I guess they did this for all the big matches, all the policemen jumped up and uh, the apron of the ring would, uh, would uh, ring the apron of the ring looking out at the crowd to keep everybody out. And it made it look like a big-time event. It's worth seeing. I saw that a number of years ago. Uh, back when I, when I worked for the WWE for one year, I, I did videos, uh, Coliseum videos. And a lot of times in my spare time, I would just go back and put in tapes and watch old footage. And I watched that match, and I watched a lot of the old TNTs. I'm, I'm really, really, uh, I'm really big into that stuff. I mean, I'm talking about 70s and, and 60s and 80 stuff. I mean, it really am. Uh, and I saw a lot of great stuff of Ivan Koloff back when he was younger. Uh, good man. Great man. Found the Lord, I guess, later in his life, which was great. Uh, Next and, up, uh, we've got somebody else who found the Lord, Nikita Koloff. He's boy, back he in, in an interview segment with Bob Cottle, and he's sporting a new haircut, Tony. Yeah, uh, he's uh, talking about being gone for a little bit and speaking to youth about yeah. their health during his absence. Uh, what did you think of this look, this promo, and were you in favor of a baby face Nikita? No, I was not. Uh, Nikita, I think Nikita was our best heel, maybe the best heel in the business back then. Uh, and I understand they, they turned Nikita baby face because of Magnum TA's wreck. And they moved him into that spot. I remember when he turned babyface. It was in the Charlotte Coliseum. And uh, there was a cage. And Dusty was being beaten up by the horsemen. And Nikita came in. That was right after Magnum had his, uh, had his wreck. Nikita came in. He kind of looked around. Everybody thought that he was going to help Dust, uh, help Dust or help the horsemen uh, jump Dusty. And he helped Dusty. There was a tremendous reaction at the Charlotte Coliseum that night. And I remember Jimmy Crockett, because we were in the bag, Jimmy Crockett says, man, that was one of the best things I've ever seen. It made my eyes water. And it, me, it, it, it was very emotional for all of us because of what happened to Magnum and because the old storyline is and the old adage was the best time to turn a heel babyface is when a heel is red hot. And that, that worked that night. Uh, and, of course, Nikita went on to have the uh, Starcade match with Ric Flair. But as we moved on, he had a different look. 
And because of that voice that Nikita used, it worked as a heel, but it didn't work as a baby face. And if you recall that interview, I didn't think that interview was good. It was kind of jumbled and mixed up. He didn't understand what he was saying. He was talking so fast because Nikita had really worked on his heel persona and had not really had that much time to work on his baby face persona. Uh, and I just think as a result of Magnum's wreck, the turn when it happened was right. But as we went down the road, we lost a great heel. Uh, and it, I thought that was wrong. 